Today's lesson is about commas. It is another punctuation. While writing sentences, we use the comma for short pauses, which means when you see a comma while reading a sentence, you need to take a short pause before reading the rest of the sentence. Now let's take a look at where these commas are used. You need to buy bread, butter and jam. So there's a comma between bread and butter and they are used to separate the items in the list so that it is easier for the person who is reading it. They visited the park to run, play and cycle. So you notice there are commas between similar kinds of words which means these are verbs and we use commas to separate them. Whereas in the previous sentence we had nouns which were bread, butter and jam. Commas are also used after introductory words, they may be also referred to as adverbials. To know more about adverbials, kindly click on the link that I have shared below in the description box. You can sit here. Fortunately, there is enough space. Here fortunately is the adverbial and after fortunately we have used a comma. He likes to read books and listen to music. Now here and is a conjunction and in this sentence we have not used any comma. But look at the next sentence. He likes to read books and he likes to listen to music. So now why we have used a comma here in the second sentence and not in the first? In the first sentence, after the conjunction and, we do not have a clause. It's just and listen to music. Whereas in the second sentence, after the conjunction, we've got a clause, which means it is a sentence that can stand independently. And that clause is, he likes to listen to music. So when we have got two independent sentences that is joined by a conjunction, then we need to use the comma. Commas are also used after exclamatory words. Fantastic, I love this house. So here, fantastic is the word that expresses an exclamation and therefore you use a comma after the exclamatory word fantastic we use commas like how we use brackets or parentheses for example in this sentence the sun the biggest star is the center of the solar system so over here we have used two commas and we've used them in pairs the first comma is after the sun and then we have the comma and then we have the biggest star and this phrase could be also written in brackets and if you're using brackets this is how it would look like we also find commas in complex sentences which for example the flowers if taken care of are the most beautiful so here we've got commas that are used in pairs you can use commas to separate the sections in a sentence for better understanding. For example, to make an omelette, heat some oil in a pan and just pour the egg with some seasoning. I finished my homework, said Sam. So we have used commas in direct speech. The comma is used after the sentence that is in quotes. The primary colors are red blue and yellow comma used for separation the primary colors are red blue and yellow here we have used commas to separate the items in the list which means these are similar objects they are colors and we have used commas to separate them mixing them can give different colors for instance blue and yellow give green comma used after adverbials Mixing them can give different colors. For instance, blue and yellow give green. So we have used the comma after the introductory word for instance. Red and yellow, the primary colors, when mixed give orange. Comma used as parenthesis. Red and yellow, the primary colors, when mixed together give orange. So over here, the commas are used in pairs like how we use brackets or parentheses. Wow, that is magical. Comma used in interjection. 
Wow, that's like magic. So here, we use the comma after the exclamatory word wow.